Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. I haven't vlogged in forever. I feel like I have vlogged, but it's always clips I don't like or I just don't finish the vlog. So today my mission is to get a vlog done. That's the coffee that sounds super loud. Where? In my house is a mess. Can you see that? We have to go. On Saturdays when I don't have Amelia, I do the city cleanup in Whittier. If any of you guys live in Whittier and want to help clean the city, let me know because we need people. But I don't know where my keys are at. And it's already 7.47 and I have to be there by 8. 7.50. Okay, I'm only going to be there a couple minutes late. But today is a pretty busy day. Um, it's Saturday, so what I'm going to do today is the city cleanup. And then I have to go buy some stuff for a bridal shower. And then it's going to be Alicia's bridal shower. A lot of you guys know Alicia if you have me on Instagram. She's the one that's been hosting the Zoom group calls um, and then we have I just got to the church and it looks like I'm the first one here but after this I have to go buy some gift bags and then I have an eyelash fill and then I have a bridal shower and then I have to get ready for Sunday so there's a lot going on today so it's gonna be kind of crazy and literally right now is the only time I could wash my hair so that's why I came on the camera looking like this, but um, yeah, there's a lot going on, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. <laughs> Doing city cleanup. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in such a rush right now. Oh, I hate when that happens. I can do all the things. Okay, wait. Where can I put you guys? Okay. Hi guys, it is currently 11.57 and I'm right outside where I get my eyelashes done because I don't know if you guys could tell this eye is like, this eye is like balding, but um, I curled my hair. I don't have any makeup on because I can't put makeup on, but I have the, I did the soap brows. If you guys know what that is, if you know, you know, if you don't know, then yes, I'm wearing soap on my eyebrows. But I'm already dressed, my hair is done for the bridal shower. Um, all I gotta do is right after I get my eyelash eyelashes filled, I'm gonna just put on maybe a little bit of um, foundation and some concealer and call it a day and go to the bridal shower. And I'm gonna bring you guys along, so that's gonna be fun. And yeah, so I am at the bridal shower. I'm early, I came, help, I came to help set up. But I'm going to show you guys how cute it is. Hi, hey, buddy. It's a video. Hi, Kaga. Hi. Say hi. Everyone say hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, my vlog. <laughs> okay, do you have... I'll give you a call. fun and it was just amazing being around all these women of God it's a blessing honestly I'm super super thankful and I don't take that for granted because I know there's a lot of people you know that don't have any Christian friends and people that struggle to make Christian friends and God has just really really blessed me with a community of you know 
not just professing Christians, so I'm a Christian, you know, but they're not really Christian, but true women of God, you know, women of God. And I'm just extremely, extremely blessed. I want to show you guys what I got from Amazon. So I've been wanting like a smaller Bible because carrying, I mean, I love my Bible and um, it's awesome, but carrying around that big old Bible is not fun because it's, it's big and it's heavy. So I wanted something more like handheld. So I got this um, journaling Bible and I got an ESV because I don't have an ESV. I have a King James Version and I have the New Living Translation and I really wanted to get the ESV. Um, some people don't like the, say that the New Living Translation is not word for word. So I was kind of just curious to see like what what's up with this translation because I've never really read it. So... Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at it. Oh, this is perfect. This is like the perfect size. This is perfect to carry. Look at how small it is. I just really wanted like a small Bible. And I got some dividers. And these dividers were only $3, guys. All the other dividers are like a crazy amount. It's not a crazy amount, but they're all like $15. And I think that's kind of ridiculous. This lighting is so bad. But I got these little... They're silver. And I... I usually have pink everything, but... I just kind of wanted like a more... Like just serious looking Bible. You know what I mean? Oh, these are cute. Look at them. I got that and they're originally five bucks but I guess I got them on sale from Amazon I'll link it all down below and this was really inexpensive too it was like 30 bucks and I got some more highlighters because my daughter loves getting my highlighters and they're all messed up because of her so I got my own and I'm gonna give her my old ones because you know what she sees her mom doing she wants to do too so she gets to keep my old highlighters and I get these. These were on sale too. I think they're originally like 13, 14 bucks. Does this have a price? No, it doesn't. They're usually like 13, 14 bucks, but I got them for like $7. They were on sale. So I'm gonna link everything down below and hopefully everything's on sale. I'm gonna put these on my Bible and I'm gonna show you guys after how it looks on my new Bible. This is so exciting. Like, this is perfect. I love it. I love it. Look at how tiny it is. It's like the perfect size for church. Like I just really wanted to have a Bible that I could take to church because I love, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, eventually read the King James Version, but it's really hard for me to understand. So I just wanted like a good translation that I could understand and, you know, a small one. So I'm excited. And of course I wanted to have um, space for notes because I want to take all my notes in here at church too and during class and stuff. So. This is exciting. Hey guys, I finished. Look, it's so cute. Well, you can't really see. Can you guys see this? My daughter's doll on the floor. I need to clean up a little bit. But um i did it and i love it it's awesome i love i love bibles and i'm just so excited to have like this tiny one with tabs and esv version um, a lot of people tell me they love the esv version so let's flip to a random okay i'm an x go to this people and say you will indeed hear but never understand, and you will indeed see but never perceive. For this people's hearts has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. Well, I turned a random page and that's what... <laughs> do you guys ever do that? You just open your Bible randomly and just read a random verse and you're like... And it's like something crazy. Like that was... That was crazy. But yeah, 
I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna get ready for bed. What time is it? It's 9.30 already. I have to be up by like 4 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, but my hair's curled already and I washed my hair today. So I don't have to do anything to my hair tomorrow. Praise the Lord. And I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna continue the vlog till tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. <laughs> Why am I so close to the camera? It's literally 6.43. I woke up so late. I have no makeup on, but... Ugh. I woke up late to go serve, and I'm pretty upset right now. And disappointed in myself. Because I did not set myself up for success. I fell asleep really late last night, and I slept through all five of my alarms. So, or four. I don't even know how many I had. I had one, two, three, four, five. I had five alarms. The heck? Why did I have over 6.30? Anyways. I'm over it. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, we're back in my car and I guess I'm going to do my makeup in here. Lately I've been doing my makeup in my car so much. But I'm not even really going to do makeup. I'm just going to put on concealer. And I was pretty upset in the last clip. Just being real, I was really upset at myself for not setting myself up for success. Um, I st stayed up late last night and I had to be up by f 5, 4 a.m. today. And I wasn't because I was up late. So, you know... I'm like, well, a lot of people show up at that time. A lot of people come late, but I'm just like... I started saying things like, well, everybody shows up late. Not everybody shows up at 6. And I'm like, no. That's not the standard that I hold myself to. That's not the, that's not the standard God has held me to. So I take full responsibility, you know? I was about to start like blaming oh well this and that and I'm just kind of like no I'm gonna take responsibility I didn't set myself up for success last night and now I know for the future that I should not be staying up late I mean I've always known that but last night I was just like I really needed to go to sleep because I was already running on short on short hours of sleep and um it just staying up even later made it worse today so you shouldn't hold yourself to the standard of everyone else, but hold yourself to the standard that God holds you to and your leaders hold you to. And yeah, wow, look at that. That made such a huge difference. I look awake now. I don't like to wear foundation anymore on Sundays because um, we ha I wear the mask all day, all day, all day, every day, like 24 seven. There's literally no point. Oops, I kind of put on way too much on that cheek. So I just put some of this. So I basically, I basically just missed the morning setup. And I'm pretty consistent showing up and like really consistent. The only reason I won't show up at six is because I have my daughter and I don't have my daughter this weekend. So I should have been showing up at six, but I always show up early to help clean No, I love serving and I didn't prioritize so here I am late putting on makeup in my car but that's literally all I do now I don't put any foundation because there's no point so basically by this time they're done and I saw uh, I saw the usher lead grabbing his clothes already to change from his car when I drove over here to the parking lot so um yeah they're probably done setting up already well at least I made it to group prayer that's the good thing Sundays we do prayer before service like at 7 30 so at least I made it to that I need to drink this okay guys I'm gonna go inside now 
I hope you guys enjoyed that little chat. Um, look at this pimple. I should put concealer on it. Hi guys. Oh my gosh, my camera's on 20% and I don't have a charger. But I'm out of church. The message was so, so good. And I'm just, I feel so blessed to be a part of Freedom City Church. It's just, man, the way God is moving and the things that he is doing in that church and to be a part of it, just a small part of it, is a blessing, just a huge blessing. But anyways, I am out of church. I'm out of church now and I have like a three hour gap and today I don't have my daughter. So I'm gonna go grab some food somewhere and probably eat and read my Bible. Go on a date with my husband, which is God. But yeah. Okay guys, let's go get some food. You guys ever been to a Waba Grill with a drive-thru? Like, what? I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this, but this is so convenient and I'm here for it. Wow, I've never put my camera just like with no tripod on my on my uh, car thingy. Oh, she said, please wear a mask. Oh my gosh, hi Hennessy. <laughs> I just saw a girl from church that I serve with. She's awesome. And we serve in the same ministry. How random that we ended up in the same place. She's only like 16 years old and she serves God with gusto. I love her. Shout out to you, Hennessy. I don't know if you watch my videos, but I love you. I'm gonna eat here and then I'm gonna go back to Whittier to a coffee shop and then I'll read my Bible there. Wow, this lighting is amazing though. Come through, come through lighting. I don't even know what this vlog is going to turn out like. It's just me like driving around being all over the place. But I basically showed you guys a little bit. Oh no, I don't I don't think I showed you guys Friday. Did I? I showed you a little bit of Friday, Saturday, and now Sunday. So like I said, I have a little gap right now. So what I do is I just eat lunch. Usually by myself. If I'm with my daughter, I'll go home. But I'm not with my daughter right now. She's with her dad. So I said broccoli. Did they charge me for broccoli? Cause I will get back in the drive through Oh no, they didn't. Okay, I I uh I accept this. I receive it. I'm gonna eat salad instead of broccoli. But I was able. I asked for just broccoli. I'm pretty sure I did. Let me replay the video. Can I get broccoli? Just broccoli instead of the salad. This is my food. Doesn't this look delicious? It's the waba plate. And it's chicken and steak and salad. Apparently salad, even though I asked for broccoli. But did I get a fork? Whoa! Yeah, I did. Red onion. Okay, well. I can't believe it though. You gave me salad instead of broccoli. So today's message was on um, the blessing, you know? The pressure that comes with the glory of God. The pressure that comes when God uses you. The pressure that comes when God blesses you. The trial was a tribulation. Man, that message was just on point. And how we should be content when we, are, when we have a little bit and when we have a lot. There's a scripture in Philippians that says, Philippians, where is it at? Philippians 4, 11 through 13. I'm not telling you this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be satisfied in any circumstance. I have learned to be satisfied in any circumstance. I know what it means to lack, and I know what it means to experience overwhelming, overwhelming abundance. For I am trained in the secret of overcoming all the things whether in fullness or in hunger, and I find that strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. So, dependency. Learning to depend on the Lord and how all trials and all the trials is really just for us to be, to, for us to build up endurance so we can handle the blessing of God because if God blesses us too soon, then um, we'll get that ego will get cocky will get you know all in our heads like look at me now you know what I'm saying so that's kind of what the message was about 
but oh let's pray over my food father god i pray that you bless this food that is before me and that it goes to all the right places and that it is health to my body in jesus name i pray amen okay let's eat all right guys i'm gonna eat this and listen to worship music i just remembered something from the message another thing from another part of the message was um we go through the fire we go through testing to purify the motives of um of what we desire to purify our motives like why do you want God to use you do you want it to be for recognition why do you want to get married why do you want to get married is it because you're lonely or is it because you want to glorify God so all the testing and the tribulation and the patience that we must have whenever we pray for something um, it's purifying our motives when we go through the fire purifying it you know and when he said that I was just like wow that's powerful i'm gonna link the sermon down below i'm pretty sure by the time i edit and post this video um that sermon will be out so i'm gonna link it down below you guys need to watch it it's so good testimony and it was crazy he used to be like a pimp a drug dealer and you know nightclub owner you know drug addict and he got into a men's recovery home and never looked back since then 17 years of serving the Lord look at this this is what God says about you because you are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you I'm in my car. My camera's on 2%. I got to do some Bible study. What is up for me when I think about Jesus? I forgot to mention. Hold on. That this morning we did when we were doing corporate prayer. So, you know, everyone gathers before service to pray. We were praying and then the pastor stopped us and he was like, I feel heaviness in this room. And he's like, we're going to praise God. And we started praising God like the old school stuff though. Like, look what the Lord has done. Or when I think about Jesus and how he set me free. Like that stuff. And it was, uh, old school worship is the best, man. So joyful. All that heaviness lifted. And yeah, it was great. Now I'm going to get ready for Lifestyle of Freedom. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just emptying my bag from whatever I don't need. And then I'll have to come back to my car to drop off my stuff before I serve for Bible college. So I'm going to go do, right now I'm going to go do Lifestyle of Freedom. And then after Lifestyle of Freedom, I'm going to serve in Bible college. And I'll be in Bible college by next uh, session. So in like about six weeks. Today's week five. So like seven weeks. But um, yeah, that's what's about to happen. Um, I had a great study little Bible study at the coffee shop. You guys need to read Isaiah 43. My God, that's such a beautiful like chapter. Read Isaiah 43, thank me later. Think about Jesus and what he's done for me. When I think about Jesus and how he set me free, I can dance, 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 so you look in your mirror and you see yourself one way and you're like, oh man, it's not a good day. And then you look to the scriptures and you say, well, but this is what God says about me. It's going to be a great day. Come on. That's good. That's right. Look at that mirror and you're like, oh, it's just one little case of the Mondays. 
And you're going to look at that word and say, man, I'm ready to conquer. I'm more than a conqueror. You see? So you're going to combat everything that you see because you're going to meditate on the word. Say hello. Say I'm, at, I'm home. Let me just put this on. Hi guys, we're home. And I don't know if you're going to like this sauce. I asked them for ranch. I don't know why they gave me this. There you go. We're home. Um, church was amazing. I have Amelia from her dad right now. We got McDonald's. I want the color. She wanted chicken and fries. Baby, we're eating right now. I want the color. We're we're eating right now. Where's my daddy's hand, mommy? I kind of brought you guys along my day and I'm super tired I'm super sweaty I've been sweating since 6 a.m. because when we were praying we broke out into a praise and I'm not holding back for no praise I don't care how sweaty I get but my voice is gone and it was a good day I got a breakthrough today was amazing God God is good God was all over the day and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Basically, my my Saturday and my Sunday. Um, you have no idea where you're. You have no idea. What happened? I have no idea. You have no idea. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm about to eat my uh, McDonald's because Chick Fil A is closed today. But McDonald's will do. So here's our meal of the night: chicken nuggets. And I need to clean up pretty bad. So. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. And read Isaiah 43. I feel like it changed my life. Read Isaiah 43.